Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to Working at Change. Today we're going to talk about Dom versus Ian, but before we start, if you like, you know, what you see at the end of the video, go ahead and like it. If you like what you're also seeing, man, you want to see more, subscribe, go ahead and do it. If you don't, cool. Um, here's my cash app if you guys want to give uh, any money to the production set. All the money goes back to the channel, we're always trying to improve here, I appreciate y'all, thanks. Alright, so, let's hop right into this, this is going to be a long thread, and uh, so just bear with me, okay? So this is where I saw it all start, okay? Which was just yesterday. This is how biased the app is. Also, don't forget how Ian Miles Chichong, Chichong, uh pushes nothing back, pushes nothing but black people acting ignorant, fight videos or LGBTQ trigger videos and Rob DeSantis content, but as an advocate for Elon Musk and how he is favored by advertisers. And why didn't he attack Elon Musk for saying George Soros reminds him, yeah, reminds him of Magneto? I guess we all forgot that it was conservatives that brought this app back to life. Did we forget our impact, our reach? Everything appealed to our culture until the advertisers came. I got famous. I got famous for bait and switch. This is legit. This is a legit bait and switch. What made Elon Musk the man who was allowed to expose the elite? He did. He did it with us different than me. Billions of dollars and enough people to depend on them. So let's just go ahead and explain Don. Dom is a man who does expose people. He does um, try to get back to the community. I believe he's conservative based off what I've seen. And this is Ian. Uh, I've been following these guys for a while now. I do notice, Ian, y'all may notice a lot of the times when I share stuff off my ex account, I don't tend to show Ian post a lot because Ian does post a lot of fight videos, a lot of triggering videos. Um, and once once again, when I watch these videos, I try to look into them, but it's hard to do it in because he, he normally blocks out the TikTok names and stuff or he cuts them down where you can't see them. Um, but yeah, this Ian guy, he shows a lot of fight videos, a lot of writing, uh, a lot of ignorant content, right? And so I, I, used, I even started questioning like, what is this man's purpose? He never posted like positive stuff. It's always bad, right? It's always people getting in fights. So that's where we that's where we'll start. And so here we go. Hey, conservatives, what do you think about Eo, Ian Miles Chong? Uh, I'm just gonna call him Ian. Ian comments. Surely this is a parody account. Surely people don't actually think conservative in the ex advisor settings refers to conservative politics. Surely there is no way, right? And so he went at the dom, and that's where this all got started. Okay. He, Dom had put X ad revenue terms and civil rights violation. Okay. So let's continue. So he starts to expose Ian here. And uh let's get some music going. I like I like I like feeling the vibe. Nah, that's a little too creepy. <laughs> let's get a little let's do a little less than that. There we go. Turn it down a little bit, DJ. Turn it down. So on September 20, September 14, 2020, Ian falsely identifying as a black man, falsely identifying a black man as a suspect in a fatal shooting. This conspiracy theory put him under fire. I noticed that most of his content still targets black people exclusively without validation. More to come all day tomorrow. Malaysia man criticized after naming black man number one suspect in U.S. shooting. Heard heard from the grapevine that 33-year-old Compton resident Darnell Hicks is the LASD number one suspect in the shooting of two deputies on Saturday. We'll, pers we'll post further confirmation once I get it. On March 25th, 2012, conspiracy theorist Ian falsely accused a uh, KIA murder of rape on Reddit. Moderator, sorry. This isn't the only time Ian has falsely accused someone of a serious charge. He falsely accused a black man of sexual assault shortly before this and falsely uh, falsely accused a black man of murder after. With Ian Miles promoting false news that affects that actually affects the lives of average Americans, it is evident that his conspiracies are biased and intentional. So here we go. So Gamergate has an actual and it's misleading the pack in a movement that claims not to be about misogyny. Ultimately, it's impossible to prove that 28 Gangster and the philosophy 
individual, but his actions speak for themselves. Got a number of details mixed. The Redditor in question is defending a, a person and is believed to be on his alt account. Can't say the word too many times. I'm going to get flagged. So, so far, man, you can turn the music off, DJ. We got it. So far, man, <coughs> listen, I'm not going to say every chance I get, I take Dom's side because I don't. Um, but in this case, I, I think Ian is troublesome. Once again, his content is almost never good, which is why I rarely ever talk about it on my YouTube because it's always fighting. It's always writing. It's always LGBTQ triggering. And I, obviously I make content on the uh, cult, but at the same time, you know, I try to make my video isn't just exposed. It isn't just, I just show some random video and go, oh, these people are terrible. I try to actually defend and fight the points that they make. I don't just call them weirdos and do all that stuff. I try to fight it. Now, some of them I do consider weirdos, but I do still try to fight their ideology. I don't feel like Ian does that. I think he just does it just to get, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even want to say it's just to get views. It might just be because this is what he likes to do. He just likes to expose people and get that validation. You know? On February 14th of 2013, Ian Miles Chong, the conspiracy... Uh, man, I didn't even notice how bright my camera was. Give me a second. I normally don't look at myself too often because I don't want that to be uh, fourth wheel. But we're going to change this right here on the fly, guys. Right here on the fly. Just give me a couple seconds. We're going to continue with this story. Beamer, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you're not, I'm making this live. So this is happening live. So something they got to change on the fly. All right, there we go. All right, continuing on. On February 13th, Ian, the conspiracy theorist, uploaded this tweet, which we can only assume is a clear pedo uh, avocation. Ian has removed this old conflict in tweets. Thankful we still have access to everything he's ever posted. Stupid, sexy babies, they bring it on themselves. I, I need masculism because Redditors should be allowed to perv on 12-year-olds on retweet jailbait. Now, this is Reddit. Reddit slash jailbait. But on um, r slash jailbait without being called out by Anderson Cooper. That's odd. Dear Ian, if you say a man is an armed individual and some ask for proof and your responses don't care, you might be a conspiracy theorist. He is, and he is always armed and going in, going for a weapon in his vehicle. Who is he? Relevant, and where's the proof that he reached for a weapon? Don't care. That is that is quite troubling. On May 13th, all right YouTuber Andy claimed that Ian Chong tried to get him taken by the uh, calling SWAT team on him. The SWAT team alleged that uh, Andy's dog had a flash. Oh, was, uh, the team allegedly took the uh, life of Andy's dog with a flashbang. Ian denied his claim on April 4, 2023, and said that these were all this was all a recording of a dumb joke. I don't know if these screen charts are a joke as well, and I don't know who would incriminate themselves on such a gruesome charge. But then again, Ian has a publicly joked about 12 year olds and an admiration of Adolf, Adolf Hitler. He's going to do more tomorrow. And we're going to look more into this tomorrow, by, guys, by the way, guys, we're going to continue with the story. I love looking into this stuff. I called the police a few days ago. Well, we'll read it. I called the police a few days ago to report Andy for the suspicion of a crime. It has nothing to do with incidents. They are accusing me of, of swatting or hurting a one. These allegations are, exaggerated for the purpose of feeding a narrative so he's clearly saying that's what he did well let's see he doxed me stole money from me attempted to lock me out of my own channel spread malicious lies about me through multiple videos and harassed my friends continue on off. and so there you are That's Destiny. <sighs> so, we're going to get more on this tomorrow as it continues on. 
But here's my here's my stance on it so far. We don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go because Ian is either gonna block Dom or something's gonna go down. But where I stand, I agree that Ian is troublesome. I don't think he is for pushing any positivity in back into X. I think he is more about dividing us. He does show a lot of black people fighting. He shows a lot of black people fighting and a lot of black people stealing, right? And I'm not saying that black people don't fight and black people don't steal. It just seems like it's always us. And I'm not, uh, and you know who I am. I I will go against my, I will go against blacks, right? Because I go against everybody. If I feel like what you're doing is wrong, it's wrong. If I see things happen in Chicago and the thing I saw, we talked about with Kai Sinat and NYC, those were mainly black people. And I went after it. I don't care. What's wrong is wrong, baby. And if black people are doing the most crimes, I'm going to talk about it. But at the same time, you guys are going to see me every single chance I get, get on here and be like, all right, black people are doing something bad, guys. Hey, by the way, black people are doing something bad, guys. Hey, guys, black people are doing something bad. I'm not going to do that every single day. I try to speak stuff back into my community, right? I don't like to divide us between black and white. I just see black people as human beings, and so I treat them as such. But at the end of the day, I, there is nuance. So I do talk about it, and I try to get back into my community. But this Ian guy who is not black, uh, seems to always go after us and what we're doing. But he does post other races. I'll give him that. But it's always, it's almost, not always, it's almost always negative. Riding, fighting in the LGBT, drag queens, all that stuff, right? And he doesn't give any context to what he says. All he'll say is if you ever seen any of his posts, he'll get on there and he'll say, what do you think about this? That's it. That's all I'll say. He'll say, what do you think about this or what has happened to America? That's what I normally see. What do you think about this or what has happened to America? I normally don't see any actual evidence. I mean, not necessarily evidence. I don't see any talking about it. Where did this come from? When did this post happen? Is this today? Was this yesterday? Was this five years ago? He don't get none of that. He just posted just for you to react. I don't like that. You need to have an opinion, especially when you got such a big, pro, uh, uh, big platform. But, you know, that's not for everybody. All right. I'm out of here. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have a great night. Bye.